All right, so now let's get started with the fun part, the party. Get started with the Helix um, framework. So let's click on Templates, Styles. When you install Joomla, by default, Joomla has just the Cassiopeia, I hope I'm saying that right, template. And you have the Helix Ultimate, which is set as the default. And you set the default by clicking. So if I already click this and I go to the front end of the site, I'm going to see this one as the default. Okay, but we don't want that. So let's click on the Shaper Helix Ultimate. Once we click on there, we're going to see this right here, Template Options. We're going to see Template Options. And you can click on here. Now, before I do that, I want to show you something interesting here. When you see where it says Menu Assignments, one of the beautiful things about a content management system, not just Joomla, but any content management system, including Joomla, you can select what pages that you want to assign different styles to. So, for example, when I showed you the different home page options, you can assign a different page to different parts of your website. So, if you wanted to assign the corporate layout to just specific part of your website, you don't want people to see that, you can do so. If you want to assign the fashion, so let's say you have a membership site, and you want to create a different layout, a different look, different design for the members, you can certainly do so here. This is uh, one of the beautiful things about having a content management system because it allows you the flexibility to be able to assign certain pages um, with certain design. So now let's go over to template options. When you go to template options, this is where all of the fun things you can do with this framework begin this is where you can do a lot of you know really awesome and amazing things and before we move forward i just want you to share this video i want you to like tell someone about it if you know anyone that wants to build a website but they feel stuck uh, they need some help and they want to do it for free right if you know any entrepreneur or business regardless of the size that want to build a website and they just want something that's great quality, uh, secure, uh, for free, they can get started with this training. You can share that link uh, and make sure to like and tell someone about it. So now let's jump back here to this training again. So now we're going to go over to the back end. You can change everything that you see on here literally right you can change everything so one key thing i want to show you here is this i want you to look at the responsiveness on here so you have the tablet you have the mobile and um, you can see what that what they look like you click on each one you can kind of get a feel for it how it looks and you can scroll through and then on this left section, you have the basic presets, layout, menu, topography, blog, custom code, and advance. We're going to take a look at each one and see how that plays out. What can you do to customize? What can you do to make a change um, for these right here? So let's go first with the basic. When you start off with the basic, right? The basic allows you to change, for example, if you want to change the logo, you see the logo right here. You can change that from an image, you can do a text. So when you do a text, let me scroll up a little bit. Now it's saying here looks ultimate. So you can change this text to uh, your company name, whatever that is. So I'm going to put this here right now. And it should change, so I'll just change it to connect. And I, I can put a slogan, connect now. And the beautiful thing about this is that this happened in real time, right? So I said, I'll put the little slogan, connect now. This is happening in real time. So as you're editing your site, you can see what it looks like before you click on save. So if there's something you change, you don't want, you don't have to click on save yet, right? Because when you click on save, the public is going to see this information as well. So let's go back here now to image. And you can choose the logo height. Right. If you want to choose that height, you can 
and you can move this over to move this over that's the beautiful thing about it so let's focus on this logo part so if I wanted you can add a favicon right you can change it to whatever you want it to be and then you have here if I want to change the logo height I'm let me say put in like a 96 right you're gonna notice something so now the logo height has changed it's taken up a little more real estate than the previous one because it's set at 96 so you have the flexibility if you want to make your logo bigger or your logo smaller so let's come back now we're gonna put this back at 36 again this is happening in real time you can change your logo let's take a look at the header part with the header part it shows you here the different options you have you can select how you want the header part to look so let's say that you want a minimal layout is set to top bar right now you can experiment and see which ones that you like and as you choose here it's going to show you you notice just pay attention to the menu and the header is going to move it's going to give you the options here see as you choose it gives you different um, ways that you might you might want to go with now again this is really great because it gives you the flexibility that you can have a different styling for your header uh, maybe one of these you like how that looks so you can experiment and see how it looks on your end Right so you can experiment with that. So let's just go back now. They have a few options here. You can choose the header height You can also enable search when you enable search Let's go back to the top bar here, which is the default or you can go back with the classic layout But let's go back to the top bar. So now let me show you something with the header part if you want to enable search, you see what happens. Let's scroll up here. You can enable search to give your website the ability for people to search. Once you do that, a search bar is going to show on this section so people can be able to search your site. Do you want to enable login? You can click to enable login. So now you've added login. Now, this is a really cool feature with the login because before you would have to go on the back end and you have to create, you know, adding a module position all that other stuff but they've done a fantastic job and that they are allowing you now to just with just one click you can switch between the type of login that you want you can create a login in the front end and if you want to create a sticky header and what a sticky header does is when you scroll up the site the header is just going to be sticky right so as you scroll up and move this over here let me disable let me disable this. So while the stick head is supposed to just uh, stick at the very top over here. I'm not sure why it's not working that way now, but it'll stay at the very top as you scroll down, then you can be able to see. So let's move over now to the let's see here, the body. With the body, you can have different preloaders for the body. So you set the preloader and you set the type. Let me move this over so you can see that what that looks like. So you can set the type to two waves. You see that? Pay attention to this section right here. As I change here, it's going to give you a different preloader. So as I move, it's going to show you something. So it gives you a clock and then you can choose the preloader. If you want to have a box type, when you choose that box option and disable the preloader it should be able to give you a box um, maybe it's because I'm in the full screen mode here so it's probably not doing that because I'm in the full screen mode so let me just exit off this so let's try this again now and see if it's going to change so with the box Okay, so that's not going. So let's just go back and through. But typically, to give you a box mode where it box everything for you. Uh, let's go over now to the copyright. So let's say you want to change uh, the copyright. Let's make this bigger. You want to change the copyright at the bottom here. You want to change this where it says Jim Shaper to your name. You can put design by or whatever information you want to put there. So now it's going to automatically, it's going to change that for you. So you have to scroll back to the bottom and you're going to see that your name. So when you're working on projects with people, you want to change that footer. Um, that's where you can put your company's name right here. 
and you can also just the module position I'm not gonna go over module positions right now you don't want to change this because if you change this then it's gonna change to a different uh, position on your site so that's the footer and you also have this go to the top you can enable this or you can disable so when you go to the bottom of the site now you don't have that go to top so when you click here go to top then you're able to uh, click to go back to the top like that which you know it's really cool so now let's go over to the social icons move this down here with the social icons you can be able to add or remove the ones that you don't want so let's scroll here and the module position is set at module position top one Joomla works off of module positions so with the module position just don't change that don't change the after the feature position this is where you put in the link to your social profile so you have tw Facebook Twitter Pinterest LinkedIn uh, driven so many other ones here and you can add in a custom one here as well so this is where you can change any one of these so let's say if I didn't want the social icons well I can just disable it right and then it's going to remove those social icons so I don't have those anymore and then let's scroll down and then you want to go over to the contact so let's put this one back up let's go over to the contact info so this is the contact that you see at the very top and again it's position two you can put your phone number you can put in the mobile number your email address your hours if you have any and it's very simple um, for you to be able to make that change right over here now if you want people to contact you and you want to put that information there you can certainly do so from the contact information part and then you have the coming soon you can enable the coming soon if you're working on something um, you can put the title so that people can be able to see what's coming soon you can change the content also error page anytime that there's an error page you can upload a logo for your particular site and a background image so um, it can let people know there's an error page something just basic and simple